Ziani, now the Jamaican queen of controversy. <laughs> or as we say in Jamaica, mix up. So I know you talk, me not do the trip. Or is she a savvy marketer? The Curvy Diva's latest controversy begs that question. Love how you move me. And uh, she will be here to answer, as well as to exhibit her newest musical project. A Macadocious. Maca Diamond comes to prove she's better than when she was young. Can she? She brings the man to prove it. Why you gotta be so complicated? Is Renseville coaching her seven-year-old to be a star? They don't know who I am. Miss Seville will tell us as she premieres a brand new joy. Open my eyes, I give thanks, yeah. Meanwhile, Elaine affirms determination to fulfill her musical journey despite resentment towards her. All coming up right here on our stage, plus this week's E! News reviews and more. Welcome to our show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. Now no time for crosses no more. Brush them off, they might be well. Some gal grudge me through the life I live. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. African Signature Nights gets anointed. Our Appleton Signature Nights journey takes us to what I am being told is the number one seafood spot in St. Anne, Sharkies. And the man responsible for the music, as Winford mentioned, is the anointed one, which is Bugle. Sharkies has developed very, very well. We have the best seafood on the North Coast right now and the very, it's the most popular establishment right now for food business. I've been supporting the Appleton Escape brand for a while and that's why it fit now to add me to their promotion. So we're having a good partnership going forward. Some people stop by obstacles, my journey's continue. Bugle's catalog was well received by the Sharkist audience. It's always a great feeling, especially when you know you the people and forward out for come see. Rasta party, everything turn up loud. Rasta was with them. I will look on a vibe, because usually when 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 is a, a in concert, then people come out to come see them artists. Yeah? So tonight I one of them night when the people and forward out for come see bugle. Be yourself all when people know I said you for you. But his performance went up a notch with the introduction of first sugar. Even if you are a lonely papa, and you then have this to the unexpected. The popcorn and to be some on the same way. We are people are and teas are and please are. Well, it was a great vibe, it was really a nice vibe. The truth is I was surprised when my forward like it's the first my forward in your son. So I never know what to expect, really and truly. Tell me about religion, that a divider. Retribution, I got to take some of them. So be careful of who you're the beside. But my father and see the setting and see the vibe and the people, man. You know, I was like, wow, I love this. We rise, we fall, but we will rise again. It was electric, right? So Bugle did an excellent job. The vibe was really great. And guess what? We got some bonuses, right? They never know you would have survived, yeah. I think our audience really had a good time, so Otteris, I'm sure you had a fantastic afternoon stage signature night. Thanks to everybody that came out, thanks to all the artists, all the patrons, thanks to Appleton. The next up is definitely, yes, it's May 24th at Murray's. Guess what, that's another bonus experience because it's great food again, it's a great vibe again, and Agent Sasko will be there on May 24th. So we're expecting an excellent show. So we invite you, people take the drive out, all the people from Clarendon come across, you know, and it will be an excellent experience. Exercise every day, I'm my kids are hungry and I All right, Bugle, anointing Appleton Signature Nights. 
Stay with us right here on stage. The question is, is Yanni now the Jamaican queen of controversy or a savvy marketer? Yannick will be here to tell us. Maka Diamond comes to prove she's better than when she was young. Can she? She will bring a man to prove it. Is Rain Seville coaching her seven-year-old to be a star? Miss Seville will tell us as she premieres her newest joint. Meanwhile, Elaine affirms determination to fulfill her musical journey despite resentments towards her. All coming up right here on stage. We'll be back. Be the journey, be the journey. Be the journey, be the journey. No bad mind could I ever return. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. In her latest music video, dancehall artist Rain Seville expresses complications in a relationship. But whose relationship is she talking about? And what has she been up to? And one more question. Is she training her daughter? Girl, you better show them who you are. My name is Layla. Yeah. To be a star. <laughs> Rain Seville is a very special guest right now, right here on stage. Rain. We're well going, Winford. Good to have you. Same here. Thank oh, you. All right. Before you go into the daughter and the, the other questions, talk about the career. What have you been up to? Everything is good. You know, um, the last time you saw me, I had that contract with Pepsi. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we come out with a Sweet Escape video. I had the launch at Tracks and Records. I actually have a drink there called Sweet Escape. Oh. You know, so may I turn myself into a business. It's not just the singing now. I turn into the business, the brand. The brand, yes. you're working hard right. on, on making sure the brand is surging, exactly. growing, exactly. expanding. Good. Exactly. And then I signed a contract with some managers in Atlanta called yes. Island Jams. That was in 2016. You know, I'm no longer a part of their label, but, you know, the relationship is good. Big up to Island Jams. And now I'm just here doing videos freestyles that are getting mm. a lot of, you know, love and reception and, yeah, music. Okay, so you're talking about complications <laughs> in a relationship. Whose relationship? <laughs> Winford, you mix up, you know. <laughs> really? No, come on. Come on, Winford. I'm the least mix-up guy in this business. A man in a name, you know, why not give so much problems? Oh, okay. So I had to sing about it, you know, me I have man problems. So you general... Oh, you, you are? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Oh. The song is just an everyday situation. Mm. You know, you're in a relationship with somebody... But of course, you see somebody else you're attracted to, and you say, John, I like that you, there, you know, but you know, I'm not going to go so. So that is a complication. Oh, so there is this guy who is complicating matters. Yes, because I have my good, good man already. <laughs> and you come now with your attractive self, I try and mash up with my other one. And that's widespread, right? Yes. That's happening all the time. Every day that I'm. So let's yes. look at the song then and see what it's saying right here. All right. Why you gotta be so complicated? Every time you come around, you got my knees so weak. You got me tongue tied and I just can't speak. Why you triple up my heartbeat? Why you triple up my heartbeat? Complicated. Yes. That's the title of that one. <laughs> in, in Jamaica, we call that Joe. That guy is a Joe. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So that that's your your latest track. Yeah, man. So big up to Progress Media and Zinger Media. Mm -hmm. You don't know they're the directors on that one. Right. And big up Bill Gates, big up John Bling. Those are all of the people that were a part of the video. So the record is getting rotation? It's, well, people it like it yet? We're actually putting it out with the video. Right now. So the blast, right. We're going to blast it out in this week and all of that. But, I mean, it's a relatable topic. So the people who hear it so far, them love it. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> I say no more. Except to ask you about your daughter now. Mm -hmm. Let's take a clip of her performing with you. Let us know. Hey, Layla. Hey, Mommy. I don't think they know who you are. What? They don't know who I am. Girl, you better show them who you are. My name is Layla. Yeah. And I'm a superstar. Yeah, I can rap and I can sing. I can do it all. My name is Ray Silva. Yeah. Me, I wanna dance as finest. I can sing. I DJ. I'm a full of lyrics. He is a pop star. Yeah. And I'm a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so are you training? <laughs> I mean it naturally now because I'm an entertainer. Her father is an entertainer, so she's born around music. Yes, we should, we should just disclose that she's the daughter of Bugle. Yeah. The child that you both are parents of. Okay, so, so, so yes, yeah, so, so he's training her too? Well, he's interested uh, in no, her becoming he, an artist I, or a star. More, he's more hesitant about it. You know, he's like, let her be a kid, let her be a kid. Yes. But it's just in her, and when I go to photo shoots or when I go do interviews, sometimes I take her with me. Mm. So she see it and she like that energy, you understand? So me and I will just be home, I will just freestyle and hold a vibe. So we were out on the road that Saturday, ah. and we just came up with that and did it on the spot. Okay, so it, <laughs> and it's making noise on yeah, in man, social it, media. Yeah, man, it have almost 30,000 views. It's actually one of the most viewed videos on my page, my IG page. Oh, she run you hot already? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> she a kick away for the time. She's born with things, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's coming up for your summer? All right, so as I said, putting out more recordings. I want to put out an album this year because... Um, I've actually never put out an album before. I always oh. did like mixtapes. Mm -hmm. So I'm working towards that for the end of the year. We have another, I have another major project coming up. No one talk about that, you know, we'll see it. Okay. And um, my song that I pr produced by ZJ Liquid called Clue, that song is doing very good too. So I can look out for that one. Rain, always <laughs> so good to have you on our stage. <laughs> Thank you so much. All the very best. Yeah, man. Thanks. And, and we look forward to the project that you don't want to disclose. Mm -hmm. So there you have her in this segment, our very special guest, Rain Seville and daughter. Wow, isn't she very, very talented? <laughs> All right, stay with us. Still to come right here on stage Big is Yannick now, the Jamaican queen of controversy. Some girl me the life I live. Or a savvy marketer. Whoa. The curvy diva comes to tell us and brings her latest work in music. You don't want to miss that. Macadocious. Maca Diamond comes to prove. Me when me did young. Can she really prove that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Elaine affirms determination to fulfill her musical journey despite resentment towards her. No All coming up right here on our stage. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. In her latest song, reggae songstress Elaine is affirming her determination to fulfill her musical journey despite resentment. Elaine is our very special guest right now with the video for the song. Ale. Hey. What's so good to have you. It's good to see you Welcome. again. Nice. Last time I saw you, we were on a boat. <laughs> we love to see you dancing to various Hammond music. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was an experience. Oh, it was so great. It was great for you yeah, too, Yeah, man. Right? I had a good time. Your first time on a cruise? Yes. First time on the cruise, on the, on the Love and Harmony cruise. Yes. And it was just such a great vibe, just being up on a bunch of people that just wanted to have a good time. And, oh, great music. Good uh, vibes. I saw you enjoying yourself. <laughs> I know, Winford came, where's the camera? <laughs> Winford came up to me and said, yeah, I've been too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, okay, this song, some may ask, you know, you know something? Let's go to it first. Let's okay. go to the video. Right? All right. Open my eyes, I give thanks, yeah. Every morning I rise, I give thanks, yeah. Every day of my life, I give thanks, yeah. Alain there, the journey, giving thanks and uh, affirming her determination to go the distance. Wow. Wow. You like it? What a nice song. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you, Winford. You know, thank you. I wrote it uh, sitting on my bed in my room and TJ records, well, TJ produces the song. And he sent me the rhythm and he's like, I'm doing a project. I want you on it. I was like, yes. I uh, heard it, loved it. And... When I heard the track, immediately I started thinking about my life. Mm -hmm. Literally thinking about my life and where I've been, where I am, where I want to go. And just the fact that God has been so faithful throughout it. And 
you know, you learn. You twist and you turn and you drive forward. Sometimes you fall in a pothole. Other times, you know, you have, you know, little obstacles in the road that come at you. But at the end of the day, I give thanks for it all. And, the, and you're calling them little well, obstacles. Well, um, because you don't big up nothing that not going to big you up. <laughs> you <understand laughs> it? So it's, it's recognizing the fact that, yeah, there are things that sometimes don't work out the way you want them to work out. Yes. There are sometimes that there are people that don't like you. There are people who... The resentment, sometimes, yeah, resentment and the, there and the is, bad vibes yeah, and the bad mind. That is reality. So that on. is life, you know? Yes. But you have to keep moving. Just like the world keeps spinning, we have to keep moving. We have to keep trying, keep going and giving thanks while we're doing it. While we see the roadblock, we, we just change gear and we press gas and we drive past. That kind yes. of vibe. Because that is the attitude that winners have. You yes. know? And you don't always feel that way. But sometimes a song like this, can pick you up and make you feel like that. And that's why I wrote the song. Absolutely. Encourage. And it's important coming from you because of your exposure and Absolutely. your journey and your Absolutely. success Absolutely. and your struggles and so on. Yeah, so it's, ebbs and flows. You know, sometimes you know, I'm like, well, go on. Lord, you, you know, I want more things to be happening. And then I have to just stop and say, hey, but I'm so grateful for all that has happened. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you get into that, that, it, that attitude of gratitude, then it just attracts more things to be grateful for as opposed to wallowing in. <sighs> You know, but you recognize it mm -hmm. and you keep moving anyway. So. so I need not ask you where you are now in terms of the career or anything, because that song is just spelling it out. I am. For, absolutely, for all of us. yes. That's where you are now. Yes, you're absolutely. comfortably, you're you're confident and you're you're I'm all grateful. Grateful, grateful for, above for, everything. Where, for what you've achieved oh, in this yes. music. And absolutely. A new song, Journey that you just saw, as well as Lucky You, which is a song that talks about if you have a good man, hold up your hand and say it. If you know you have a good man, don't be afraid. Show up, put up your hand for us. We see there's only a few. So lucky you. Lucky. Uh, it was written by my sister Sharita Lewis, who is a brilliant oh, wow. songrite. Yeah, she's been, yes, she's oh, been she's really great. Well. She called me up and said, Alena wrote a song. I want you to sing it. And I said, What? How do you mean? Mm -hmm. And you're brilliant. If anybody knows me, they know I always rave about her. She's brilliant. So she sent me the song, me and her and Young Po, who are at this part of the whole Junior Gang family, mm -hmm. and went into the studio and recorded it. And the response so far is great. I have an acoustic video out on my Vivo, so people okay. can check that out. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. anything else you can yes. tell us, you want to tell us about? I have a song too. Yeah, yeah man. I have, I, have, I have a brand new song that I love that's coming out on a brand new rhythm with UIM Records called Not One. Mm -hmm. And the point of the song is you don't have to question my love, not even one time. Oh. Yeah, man, so it is so it's nice. Real. It's yeah. real. Yeah. I sing love. it to you. Give me a hand. <laughs> how many times do you have to wonder how much I care for you? And how many times do you have to question if my love for you is true? Not one. Two. <laughs> no, not one. Na, 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 na. Oh. <laughs> Wow, what a I'm in love already. See, I'm in yeah. love. <laughs> thank you so much, Elaine. Oh, thank you. It's so good to see you. It's always good to see and you. And I, I love the spirit that you're in and where you are and how you're affirming you know, your, your determination and giving thanks. Yes. It's thank good you. to see that. You thank know? you. Um, when people do that, it, you're inspiring others without thank even knowing it. Thank you. To stay with what they're doing and to believe in what they're doing. Absolutely. Respect, well, my really brother. Always Thank good you. to have you. Thanks for all the support over the years. Thank oh, you. Respect. Oh, <laughs> all right. There you have her right here in this segment. Elaine. Wow. The journey. Go check it out. And still to come right here on our stage is Yannick now, the Jamaican queen of controversy or a savvy marketer. The Curvy Diva's latest controversy begs that question. And Maka Diamond comes to prove she is better than when she was young. Can she really prove, prove that? And she's bringing the man to prove it. Right here on our stage, you don't want to go anywhere. We'll be back. Just like the young, young. Oh, don't need money, yo. Every dollar you go spend. Eh? You better promise that again. Chatting, who you make your be me boy? Me and your nine. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Why does Maka Diamond feel she's better than when she was young? In the show, me not pop down. 
The diamond is here with a man who perhaps can prove it. His name is Spotlight. <laughs> right now, right here on our stage, Miss Diamond. <laughs> prove it, no? The tall man come. <laughs> okay. Tall man, welcome, sir. Shine, bro. Welcome, welcome. Fun. So you are the prover. That's what she's saying, you know, so I come for the final, yeah, so yeah, prove it is as true, Shia. Yeah, man. prove it today, right? You're on stage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll come to that in a, in a few, but uh, the, the career for us, what have you been up to, man? Just been um, putting in the work as usual. I don't know, I'm a this. Mm -hmm. So I'm not have to kill up ourselves no more. I'm a diamond just relax, do my thing, studio work, put out the work, you know? So yes. it's, it's all about um, a lot of tours, because you don't know, I did Canada um, last year, summer. So, you know, this year I'm looking forward to that again, you know? So, and I just did Curacao. Mm -hmm. Curacao was great because I have this song called Play Tune. It was actually a dub plate. And I did the dub plate and, and they remixed it and it became a hit. Okay. So I had to record it and, um, and build it. I'm getting over like almost a million views on my Vivo. That I'm not even, and I'm not even promoting the song. You know, looking forward for Bahamas next. Then we are going US, the US tour, line up and all that thing. So it's been just the same academic, but it's just that we are doing things more international. Okay, so as far as music goes, mm -hmm. you were better than when you were young then. It well, better, see me, no, I can't give up. Diamonds and, are forever. And the slim is still Everything, go, going south. Yeah, because right now I am on a, um, a, a three-month detox program where it's just no me. So I am, you know. But is it the, the program you told us about some time ago? The same program? Yes, but it, um, this one is a different year and different time again. Okay, so you don't want to help others to... Oh, to yeah, man, definitely. But I'm doing, you, see, you see, what about this program that I'm on? Um, I'm doing a couple of years ago now. It's like you have to do it to yourself first, and then you learn about it, and then you can teach people and help them along the way. So I am learning, and I'm still learning. The last time you were here and spoke about your, your Slim Down program, mm -hmm. Persons were calling us. Yes, and a lot of people link me and I, and I send them the numbers where they should go. And a lot of people say they, they're feeling better, they're losing weight, and they're, they're doing well. They're doing well. Yeah, but I have always been doing like the green juices and stuff like that. But this time now, I'm doing the fruit one. So I'm trying the difference and see. see are you making money from this? No, no, no. It's just me. I'm doing this for me, you know, yes. for me. And then I can help people. I'm going to be. But maybe you should be branding some product. Everybody's saying that. So I'm looking forward to that still in a win friend. Trust me. But You're open said, to that? Yes, but I'm trying to learn because this is, this is a different venture for me. So we have to learn the herbs. We have to learn this. And we have to make sure that when I tell people, I tell them as real as it gets. So, Spotlight, sir. Yes. Who are you? Spotlight. I've <laughs> yeah, been in the business a while now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. Do even collaboration with Elephant Man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Rain from Lindsay to St. Catherine, you know what I'm saying? Born and grown at Kingston, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, yeah, been in the journey, um, music journey, a while now. So, always in and out of the business, because living in the States, you know, dual citizens. So, you know who saying? look who here? In ah. the well, <laughs> I want to let you know, we know each other for, for over 13 years now. Because even born in video, you remember that video? Yes. I'm the one who she had given. <laughs> I'm her boyfriend in that video. Oh, yeah. I'm here spotlight in that yeah, video. Yeah, so we play, we play a game in that video that became reality. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've been around. You know what I'm saying? And music is my love. You know what I'm saying? So my always I do music. And this record is working for you? Yes. Yes. Pretty much. So God. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. You know? so, so, so she's bossing you right now? Really well, boss you now? Spot. Really boss me right now. You know All what right, I'm let's go to the let's go to the video right now. Prove it now. In the show, me now pop down. Prove it now, the tall man come. Me better than when me did young. Maka prove it now, the tall man come. In the show, me now pop down. I that you say, go and beat up your tongue. Your tongue. Me better than when me did young. Prove it now, the tall man come. Better than when <laughs> me did young. No, Is she now? Is she better than when she was young? Why is she bad? And tall man? Yeah. You are going wicked too? Respect, you know, in front. Yeah. Yeah, man, respect, man. I do my thing, you know? Big up Cornelius. Cornelius. Adi man. Adi man. Oh, Big up yourself, Cornelius. You know I produce the thing, huh? Yeah, I produce it. And I'm the spotlight. Here, yeah, a year turn. See it. So is there any truth to this, all this lovey-dovey that's going on here? Is there any truth to it between both of you? Are there any truth? <laughs> it's 
Fear to him. Fear to him. You were answering in the affirmative no. with the head shake. No, the head spotlight. No, at no. the word, me I'm proud of Spotlight, you know. Be careful, learn, okay? But yeah. man, okay, you know. Otherwise, yeah. 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 you're in trouble, right? No, okay, you know, see yeah. no, no, I was at the word, you know what I'm saying? There's so many words I want to say, but that's the one that came up. Oh, you want to, okay, you want yeah. to tell us that you're in love with Maka Diamond? Ah, and that she's in deep better than when she was I young. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, but a lot more things to say, you know? But like I say, stay tuned. All right. We, we'll be here. Right here on the stage, you can confess it all to us. Anytime in the future that you guys... Exactly, guys. You know, life continue. <laughs> right, Maka? Okay, right, then. Diamond. Okay. A bright diamond should be Okay, then. Right. Okay. Bright diamond. We, bright diamond. We don't have to do anything. We can just leave you alone or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, from we here to where, guys? How the movement go now in terms of tours and so on? New York, we have Washington. We have a couple, yeah. couple stuff coming up. Yeah. We'll be coupling up, coming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. The world will be watching you. What good? All the very good. Extreme, yeah, you know, I have to big up extreme, extreme arts. Yeah, yes. You know, because them came up with the concept and we all came together and just, you know, put it together. But let like me say X. Bless. Yeah, Bless man. I big up everybody. Follow me yeah. on Instagram, Maka Diamond One. I don't know. I big up Team Maka to the world. Yeah. Everybody. And look out for more videos, more songs because they don't know. And the album too. also, you know, Winfrey, the album is going to yeah. be very different. Okay. Well, we're looking forward we to that. Yeah, That's man. good. Come we have more of a surprise. And, I mean, and the reality series. Right. Tell them. You know what I'm saying? We have a series. Coming up, coming up a reality place. series right, that's with just, both of yeah, you. That's just that introduction. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's spotlight right, on right. the diamond. Spotlight on the diamond. So the truth will be revealed in, <laughs> in their eyes. That's why I'm saying stay tuned. Oh. Yes. All right, so you've posted online that them girls I need to know to learn how to perform. How to DJ? Is right, that, something like that. Yeah. Yes. Who, who are them girls there? Um, well, not in the sense of calling the name, coming on a look. I mean, there were just um, two upcoming female artists. I, you know, I mean, I admire them a lot. And um, they were online, you know, talking about me and saying, you know, a lot of things. But it didn't bother me. But um, they were thinking that um, artists who are there before them should step down for them to bust. And I'm saying the only thing I reacted about that was that, that don't make any sense. Mm -hmm. If you know how to DJ and you know how to perform, and you know how to put out the songs that people want, you don't supposed to have a problem. Okay. You know, so that's basically what happens. So I just tell them straight up, say, there's no way you blame people who is there before you. And once you're talented, you, there's no one to blame. <laughs> that's true. That said it. Okay, guys, so what good? And the world will be watching. Gonna tell us, well, social media will tell us what go on with the Toronto. All right, stay with us. Still to come right here on stage is the Curvy Diva, the Queen now. Of mix up in Jamaica, we say, or controversy in English. Oh, yeah. Or is she a savvy marketer? That's the question. The big question that we have for her next. You drive me crazy, be my one and only, only, oh, baby. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Following weeks of dominating the social media chatosphere with the cricket star Marlon Samuels. Hey, hey. Social media has a brand new reason to be trolling the curvy diva, Yanni. This begs the question. Is Yanni now the new queen of controversy <laughs> in Jamaica? Or is she a savvy marketer? But girl, Yannick, you're from Jamaica. Yannick, the curvy diva, is a very special guest right now, right here on our stage. Yannick. Thanks for having me. <laughs> good to have you. Always. Okay, so answer that question for us. Are, is it marketing 101, or are you now just find yourself in the middle of controversies that you, can't, that you have no control over? Um, oh, boy. Well, listen, sometimes I really honestly just post what I want to post, say what I want to say, but persons just love me and hate me at the same time. So. Mm, which is winning. 
I don't even know per se outside of love. I'll always think positive. Mm -hmm. So I'll always say it's love. I think the haters love me too. They just don't really know how to express it. <laughs> so, and you don't mind being dragged into all of these controversies? You're literally <laughs> reveling in it, aren't you? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't mind because I think it's just my mindset and my strength level. You have mm -hmm. to just know yourself, love yourself that much that with the hate and everything that's happening, you know that, hey, I'm good. I'm great, I'm fabulous, I'm talented, and you tell yourself that constantly. I don't pay it no mind, that's fine. And you've evolved to this, right? Where you're now comfortable and can deal with it, isn't Always it? Always been that way. Because you were quiet, weren't you a quiet no, little? No, I was never quiet. It was a situation where I've been like this from school days, you know? It's just, you have to have that in your mind where you tell yourself that, listen, I love me, and your opinion mm. of me doesn't determine that this is how I am and this is who I am. All right, so marketing, mm -hmm. we're wondering, is uh -huh. this, how much marketing is in this? Brand building, mm -hmm. positioning yourself as a music star, as a, as a hostess or host? Um, not really. I mean, I do sometimes, but when certain topics are really serious, I try not to jump into that, that the whole, oh, this is a marketing sort of thing. But um, yeah, I went to B&B University. I did marketing, econ. OTB, Human Resource Management. So mm -hmm. automatically you see something that's happening and you say, okay, boy, you put out something and you see where it can benefit, you do it. For those of us who are not um, keeping up with, under a rock. with what's going on, <laughs> yes, under, literally, <laughs> under a rock. Um, what exactly, what is the contention between you and the cricketer? What exactly is it? I try to dissect it and cut it apart and open it and try to figure it out myself. Yeah. Um, but I think it, it really just started from me just saying, boy, it won't work. And I think that was it. We had a special friendship that was leading into something. And um, about three, almost a month into it, I said, you know what? There are certain things that I tolerate and certain things I don't. And we weren't getting along. And that was it. We just not getting along. It wasn't going to happen. And then um, when he reached out to my agent and said, boy, she should do the whole thing. When Aishana's song came out, mm -hmm. she should do the whole controversial thing and controversy and do the clash or beef or whatever. I said, you know what, marketing wise, you know, as an artist, that kind of makes sense. But then I don't want it to be said that I was beefing over a man, especially somebody that I'm not with. And the last time I checked, he, they weren't, you know, in anything. So I said, no, I said, that's not going to work. And then I guess that's where it just all blew up. And then it just turned to, boy, you know, say this, that, that, and if you diss me, and da, 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 da. And it went on to that, and I said, enough is enough. And just having, because I'm a very private person, you realize this pretty mm. much. Throughout the years, I've always been private. You don't know who I'm dating, you don't see my daughter, nothing like that. So when, you know, the person pushed me to the point where I had to make a post or say anything, then it was a situation where I was just saying enough is enough, back away. So the post was a, a last resort to get... It was. To but get the fact, For me to even open my mouth and mention something when it comes on to, you know, just saying enough is enough and stop with everything, it, it was really last resort. It was saying back And up. he wouldn't have it, is it? No, sir. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus, it's sweet him. <laughs> I just, what, the post I or know. the relationship? Um, the special I, relationship? Honestly, I dissect it and I said to myself, you know what, the post was made, he addressed it with whoever, his cousin, and they said what they said, and that's fine. Okay, it's dealt with. The problem was going in now and using a video of me to know, defame me and to say all sorts of manner lies and everything. That was where I had a problem. And that is when I said, enough is that, that no, extra. Mm -hmm. And then when it went on, okay, I'm going to sue. But what are you suing for? At what point, what are you now going to get a lawyer for? For what? For what you did? Because that's, that's why I'm confused. The last time I checked, you did a video and you posted a video of myself. Now, I was also concerned to, from the get-go, why was a video you know, you have a video, a friend send a video to you because we were embracing as friends. So it just realizes us a bitter person in terms of the situation, and I understand. And I kind of pull back and say, no, mm -hmm. I, I'm not dealing with this. I cannot deal with this excitement, and I'm done. But it just continues, and it still, still is. I'm still here talking about, about it, you know? It's us. And there was a, you did a song, which mm -hmm. some were saying, are still That's saying, even true. though you're trying to clarify it. I mean, I'm not trying. My thing is, it's not about it. The, the song mm -hmm. was made before? It was made before. This. It was made before from um, Katy Perry Fields. That's mm -hmm. where the chorus came from. And then um, gradually, we just add on stuff as well. So, yeah. But the controversy helped the song, right? Well, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit more about your music and your, your brand. 
the movement and, and so on about it. But is this now a matter that may end up in court? Well, he stated that he was, um, you know, basically would take action. No, with me, I don't take certain threats. So if you're going to take action, I will, will always have my person or my people, my lawyer ready and mm. set to go. So that's it. I mean, as a female, how I am from ever since, I don't take pushover. I don't. And I won't tolerate it from a female, male, dog, puss, rat, nobody. And that's just it. And I don't get clear people say, oh, you're a strong person and you're in shoulder broad. But it's just me saying, I'm not going to tolerate it. The last thing I recall messaging was saying, but everything that was there pushing at me through the messages was, make you move, do what you need to do. I'm ready. What will be the end game here? Or do you want this to end? I mean, it has ended. You think so? <laughs> For me, it has ended. I am moving on to greater things. Um, somewhat this whole crazy ordeal brought a whole lot of producers, a whole lot of opportunities in terms of musically. Yes. Um, in terms of corporate, they kind of pull back and say, what? No, we don't want to be a part they're of They're afraid of that. Oh, God, they're afraid of it, everything. But that's fine. You know, that's still fine. Aren't you afraid that you're driving mm -hmm. men away from you? Uh, men will be afraid of getting into a relationship with you? No, you actually... Since you will go public if they mess up? Step up. No, it's not even going public. It was a situation where, you know, of all the years of being private and this one situation going public, it really showed you say it was hard. So, no, actually a lot of guys have reached out. And, and I just, once again, I'm at the place where I'm just focusing on myself. And mm -hmm. thank you for the love and thank you for... What Men are not afraid of you. They're still after you. They're <laughs> intrigued. Always. I think they're <laughs> intrigued to the fact that yes. I'm so private and reach a point where I'm not, you know... I'm this person that would take time and be friends and if we're special friends and I'm not trying to, you know, be any, in any wife position right now, yes. mm -hmm. I think that intrigues a lot of guys. But the guys that are coming, I'm not interested. Oh, <laughs> I think they're, just, you know, they're coming, they're coming. They're like, oh my God, she is this and she's private and she's sweet and she just, you know, she's all right. And clearly she has something for mad smutty. So therefore, yes, we want a part of that. But I don't have the time. I'm focusing on work. And your daughter? Is she, how is she impacted by this? What I really do, I said to Jada, and I said to her, she even come to me, she came to me and she said to me, Mommy, oh my God, this is so much. And I said, boy, you're supposed to use to me by now in terms of controversy and everything. She's like, yeah, but it's like, it's just keep going and going and going and going. And I said, you know what? I have to know, put down my foot and, and say, okay, enough is enough. And um, I went on and said, boy, I won't talk about it, won't talk about the situation, but this is on stage. So I said to her, I always teach her, when people come to her and they stress her, they say anything about, I said, be the first to bash your mother. I said, throw me under the bus. And that's why I always tell Jada. She okay. always find it funny. So if they come and they say, oh, your mother plastic, she say, yeah, that's why she don't come out the car because son and all of it. So she will throw her cards and stuff. But I always tell her, at the end of the day, throw me under the bus. Bash me if you want to bash me, mama, but don't let anybody win up or basically tear you down or tear me down and you are affected by it. You know what it is. You know how I am. You know Curvy Diva, the brand, and Yannick, your mother. So she no mm -hmm. play, and she understand that. And my household portrays that. Curvy even not invited to my house. She's not. She's really out there booking and doing all of these things. So <laughs> she is not invited home. So my daughter is not a question where I have to now wonder what she's thinking too much or how she feel. She's structured. I carry her to school. I kind of teach her where I said to you, Jada, persons, whatever they say, don't define who you are. You're strong. You're smart. You're beautiful. My life and my lifestyle cannot determine who you're going to be tomorrow, okay. or, you know? And I said, my mother grew up in church, deaconess, um, my father, deacon, brother, pastor, all of these things, and this is my lifestyle. I have friends who, their parents were a prostitute and, and died from AIDS, and they are pastors and, and all of these things now. So your parents cannot decide or determine that this is how I am, but what I teach her is to have manners, have respect, know your self-worth, and at the end of the day, you know, be that little girl that you ought to be. Does Curvy Diva impose herself in your relationship, in your relationship no. with men? No. She's not present No, not at all. all. And I think that is why it's so hard for me to date, because people love to date Curvy Diva. 
they want the whole excitement. But I am Yannick, the natural hair wearing, <laughs> no makeup. So they will find you very different from the, the, <laughs> the curvy Extremely different, diva. extremely different. And I'm very private. I love, you know, my quiet time. I love mm. to reason. And for me, it's not even about the person's look. It's about his looks or anything. It's about his character. And that is very important. You're keen on that. Yeah, man. You've I'm always expressed that. that. Yes. Always, always. And that's the thing. So when you meet somebody who is all into the excitement of, oh, me, a date curvy diva and everything. Thing and you know they always have me on the Instagram or trying to you know say about my body and it, I am like calm down relax because you need to make up your mind. How so, much do they try to know you? Do they try uh, these men that you've dated? Mm -hmm. Do they try to know who you are fundamentally? That little girl inside? Um, they don't have a choice because it's Yanni going date you. Yeah. So. Regardless if so as come. soon as them come yeah, man. forward, they're gonna know. They're gonna know say Yanni. But is it? Are they encouraged or discouraged when they know that you're different from the diva? Um, I don't stick around to even find out. <laughs> You'll be gone and here's like the that. Thing, here's the thing, and mm -hmm. it's very hard in this business, so we try not to one date a lot. We try not to even interact with guys a lot. We, I personally pull from persons that I know, friends, persons that I know for years, persons that know me before the excitement and the whole hype. I tend to pull for that more than somebody who is new and okay. fresh on the market. So even with this person, knew him for a while, so automatically, I'm thinking in, in, in my headspace, he's supposed to be good. Mm. He's supposed to know that it's me and how I stay on certain characters. So when I realize that, to me, no, based on everything is a publicity stunt. Is it something where it's, you know, you wanted the hype and the excitement. And boy, you could have just asked me. You know, could I get to you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you never have to bash me and scare me like, gosh, well, I would have. Well, I'm a kind so, of person. So this week now, there is this new controversy. Oh, Jesus. About peeing in the bushes. Okay. What is that? I mean, the, How is it front page? Yes. It, oh my the, God. The star has it as a front page story. Mm -hmm. the, you're, you're surprised by that? Um, not really. Nothing surprised me anymore. <laughs> so it's a sad day, yeah. but nothing surprised me anymore. Um, yeah, I was shooting my reality show, um, YouTube reality series. And um, yeah, we just had a whole thing wrapped around that. And so it's a scene. It's just, it's just piece up some excitement. There is, and I mean, it's a 30 second or 30 something second. Who pees that quick? <laughs> okay. I don't know. But yeah, there's a storyline behind it. And that is why I said, okay, fine. Thank you once again. I wasn't marketing or anything. I was just mm -hmm. putting out snippets of the craziness. And I, I mean, even in my caption, my caption said it. It said, I'm not one with nature. It has said nothing about peeing or anything like that. So, you know, just relating persons just want to run with something. And I realized that now, but it's the power of, of the curvy diva. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, don't, I don't know. Clearly, clearly. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the impact now. The, the real, the impact on brand curvy diva Yannick. Oh, Jesus. All this controversy now impacting your brand. Because mm -hmm. we think you're a credible artist in terms of recording music artist. Mm -hmm. You are very talented. You're, you're, you're a real voice and so on. How is it impacting music production, um, touring, and, oh. and even hosting as well? You're hosting um, both in terms of television and, 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 and live events and so on. How is all of this impacting brand Yannick? Um, well, brand Curvy Diva. Curvy Diva, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, brand Curvy Diva, it's, it's, I think it's drive off controversy as well. Um, still, it's still good. The calls haven't stopped. My mm -hmm. agent's still getting calls, still getting bookings. Matter of fact, it's turn up by turn then. Turn up more, <laughs> Holy. At some point, I said to my agent, this is after a while when I, I voiced my opinion and said, okay, this is it. I made my post, everything, and all the controversy happening and everything. I said to myself, and with every back and forth, tit for tat. And I was like, this is crazy. But persons love it. And I was like, this is madness. And I look on her, I said, should I now send a check to the person? Should I said, you know, thank you for all the excitement and everything? I, I don't know. But people strive off it. A lot of producers have reached out. I've know at least three songs, three new songs. And I'm like, this is crazy. What's going on? Producers but, are seeking you out. And, and top producers as well. Top producers. I yeah. actually, I'm shocked. And I guess, um, I don't know the song that I did, you know, Carry Feelings, that was done by Jassy T mm -hmm. Records. Um, person's just like, boy, you kind of silly as an artist. We think you're a joke around. So that is now a, <laughs> a hit song. 
Yes, a lot of people reach out. Um, Styler G is one of them. He's like, boy, when he comes to Jamaica, he's from London, Jamaica, anyway. Mm -hmm. And um, he's there, he's like, yo, from Milano Yard, it's like all of the, everybody does a talk about Kermit Diva and the song and this and that. And yo, you need to do a record and bam, in studio. And it's our next hit. I'll be premiering that at my birthday party. So. Okay, and that's yeah. happening this Sunday? This Sunday, the 29th of April, 2018. And who are you expecting to be there? Everybody. Be there. The cabanas are sold out. And um, this is my first ever birthday party for 10 years being in the business. My first. Oh, really? So, okay. so persons are just, yeah, they're excited to come and party. They're excited to, you know, be a part of everything. And I really want everybody to be comfortable. I'm a perfectionist. So the whole setup, every Everything is just going to be over the top and amazing, and that's that's why I'm excited. And you'll be performing. Um, we have a stage. I can. I know a lot of artists will be passing through, and you know, artists. We just but have you're, you're one stage. I'm like, um, can I tell you? From me, see a mic and a ready, ma'am. Just like, ready, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so okay. So your 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 catalog is is building. Your music catalog, and you have more recordings that are coming. Right, I, I, well, two of them. Yeah, one with an African artist, a collab, and a next single by myself with um, Stylo G. I did. Let's take a little piece of the one with Africa. Right? Well, yes, that's, yeah. it's not a video. It's not, you know, yeah, it's, it's coming just, to Jamaica. It's just a little, a little piece. <laughs> Let, let's look at it right But girl, you need you from Jamaica. African boy, you may prefer. I don't want you to live from you. Shoulda bang bang, shoulda bang bang, shoulda bang bang, shoulda bang. Let us be lovers, be more than friends. You make me come out. Africa, me if you come back again, me no one is a loving your friend. Oh baby, love how you move me. Why, why, why? Oh. <laughs> how did this happen? They reached out to my agent. They, they reached out. They reached out and to they you. Come, right to my agent. She called me. She's like, you know, there's a producer who's doing this or that, and an artist, an African artist. And I was like, really? So when she sent me um, the track, I was like, oh, of course, I love this, and you know, it's a remix to his song, so I'm excited about it. So his name is? Solid Star. Solid Star, mm -hmm. and the song, the video is in the making? Yes, Eleganza, he's coming, it's the remix, I'm doing the remix, so. Okay, and that will be out excited. soon, I, I take it? It'll be out soon. Where will you set, settle? T 10 years from now, who, who what? Oh what God. will you be doing? Who I will you be? my life. First of all, this is a career that's it's ongoing, and there's always stuff to do, and with the right team, and with the right, you know, everything, we can go as far as possible, but I've always had my education, marketing, and you know, we can always, and clearly I'm good at that. So, so you're not settled <laughs> into the view that you're a music <laughs> artist, you're going to be a, a, a recording artist. star, an international right. recording star? Exactly. It can happen. And it's, I mean, persons, big up to Steph London, persons, yeah. a lot of persons have reached out as well. Um, yeah, so it's, it's happening. You're saying. It's, I just put your name. Fun, but, it but will. You, are, you want me to say it aren't will. Aren't you going to make a, Isn't this a time when you say, mm -hmm. um, I'm serious about this? But I am serious. And, and I, that I you think. are going to put all your energy into becoming a recording artist? I believe, and I've always said this, that actions speak louder than words. Yes. So me saying it now to you is one okay. thing, but me proving it. So when we sit here again the next couple of months, and you're saying to me, so... Straight music. How you feel? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Some say you're in the same lane as Aishana, mm -hmm. musically. Oh, really? You say? You think you're in the same lane? Um, I think every female artist have a lane for themselves, and that's just it. So I shine do what she do, spice what she do, yes. and half of the female artists we do what we do. Um, right, so we're just doing it. I don't compare myself Sex. or nothing like that. Sexy. Oh, uh, the sexy sort of thing. Sexy, but spice is sexy. evil, <laughs> you know, hot girl kind of thing. All females um, are sexy, and we try to make sure, you know, we sell that side of the business. Sex sells, so regardless of how you want to take it, they do. She, is she a competitor for you, or do you see her? Do you have a relationship with her? No, I mean, the last time we checked, we were very cool, and we've always been cool over the years. I've known her before, music and everything like that. So, um, and I've always said this, and even when the whole drama happened, and I declared that I will not be with a female, especially with a man or anybody within um, the dance of fraternity, um, I still stick by it. It's hard. Mm -hmm. As a black woman, it's even harder. And in, in this business that's male dominated, it don't make sense. Like, why are we competing? And I look on it and I see where a lot of females now, or some other females have reached out to now try to involve themselves in all this controversy that's happening and to throw shade or to do anything mm -hmm. like that. And I think it's, 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 it's something where I talked to my, my daughter back then. Like I always said to her, there's an ugly duckling syndrome 
wherein there are females who are so beautiful and they're yes. so talented and they're doing the thing and they're independent and but they're insecure and that for therefore they kind of bash the other female to really feel good i don't need to tell a next female that you're ugly for me to feel pretty mm -hmm. whether aloud or just quietly or on my instagram or whatever i don't have to do that to be great okay. and i think that's what females need to understand we don't need to compete to be great. We don't need to compare ourselves and constantly battle and have beef and issues and try to put down the next female and make this and make that the girl and re, re, re. You don't need to do that. We're sending you on and we're cheering you. Aww. And we're saying, we hope that these things settle down. Oh, it will. When the public stop talking about you, that's when you're actually worried. That's when you really need to be worried. Okay. And right now, I don't try to strive off controversy. I don't, I honestly don't. But that's what's happening and eventually it will change because the attention is there now. What I do with the attention is the next move. And I have a lot to do and to say. So. Am I invited to the party tomorrow? Of course you are. When for okay. I thought you were booked. All right, I'm in, I'm in. Who knows, yes, I'm there. Kirby, Thank you. so Thank nice you. to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much, what good. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. As always. Okay, so. There you have her, the Curvy Diva. Those of you who've been asking, she's on our stage. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on stage always.